Good afternoon, or morning, or evening, whatever time you're watching this at, but anyways, I'm back again, and we are exploring Great Old Lake Michigan, but behind me is the Oak Creek Power Plant. This is a great spot in the winter months to come try to find some brown trout, coho, steelhead, whatever's really around. This power plant has a huge warm water discharge that releases a tons of water each day, and it really increases the temperature of the lake. And that's why these fish come around here because there's other bait fish and everything that's around. And that's why I'm here, basically. I'm doing a little trolling right now, and I might be doing some casting, not really sure. But I probably won't make this too, too long a video. I'll just show you a couple of the clips of some of the fish I caught. Uh, there are usually a lot of small little brown trout and coves that are around. You can't find your big browns. They will show up every once in a while, but I'm not planning on catching crazy huge numbers or, or a lot of numbers but not huge uh size i'm actually gonna keep uh my limit so five browns i keep um so that's the plan so we're gonna be trolling for a while and hopefully we can get some fish for you Wigglers getting it done today. It's crazy, these browns. You can see that the tops of them are very dark, or not very dark, very light. And it's because the they're sitting in this warm water. It's 47 degrees while the rest of the lake is probably about 38. And they're just sitting in this warm water and it's making their colors all weird and funky, just like just like how we see with this fish. And I'm gonna net this one. See with this fish and the other two that I've caught as well. There we go. Oh, off the net, perfect. Perfect. But this is a nice little brown trout in Oak Creek. And I'm just gonna let them go. Just like that, back to the depths. But yeah, there's a ton of little browns in here. Some, there might be some coves scattered in, in the mix too, but uh, tons of little little fish that aren't, aren't spawning or just here to eat and try to survive the winter basically but uh that's this third fish on the brad wiggler right here uh -huh, this is a new bait that i'm testing out i know this works really well on the west coast so i'm like you know what why don't i get a couple and test them out i've got another one on my other line on the other side oh crap um that one has yet to go yet but it i i am getting it down to the bottom as well just for whatever reason that fish are really liking this color it's almost like a little copper kind of color but yeah that's uh it's been the ticket today but it's a deep dive in small little crank I suppose they can dive up to like 17 feet something like that i think that's what it said on packaging but yeah, this fish ate the big crank. I already saw it. It came up jumping out of the water like a freaking mad fish. Uh, I know it's not that... Oh, it's not that big. But it's probably the best one of the day. It's still fun, though. Keeps, keeps, me, uh, keeps me busy. Keeps me entertained. Oh. 
underneath the boat. There we go. And we got him. There he goes. Ooh. That's interesting. This fish actually has no clipped fins. Huh. That's interesting. It's a brown. But it has no clipped adipose, no bottom fins, nothing. Huh. It's kind of cool. Okay then. On that planer board out there. It's definitely not a big one, not taking that much drag, but it's kind of what I expected today. I literally just missed a fish as well on this rod. But we are now hooked up on this rod, I believe still. A lot of fish out here. Uh, I think there's a super small one on here. Nonetheless, a fish is a fish. Woo! These are like my favorite eaters if I want to keep ever keep browns. They usually have really nice meat and they make a perfect like little meal for a person or two. So that's why I'm gonna keep a couple because I feel like having some brown trout. Some fresh fish. I haven't had much fresh fish this year to be honest with you guys. There we go, perfect. And just like that we're on we got another one sweet 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 fish number two or not number two but <laughs> all right well there we go another one another one with the nothing clipped it's interesting I haven't seen that very often the majority of these fish in this lake usually are have something clipped on them to show that they're uh, a stocked fish of some sort. Yet again, let's see if we can bring this in. It seems like another small little brown trout. That was a betting man. It's on the thin fish, thin fin again, whatever. Alrighty. I think we got a program going now, people. There are a ton of little browns out here. Sweet. There we go. Another one. Up again, third fish on this lure, thin fish. Might have to switch some other things up to get a, get something going here, but hey, it doesn't matter, I'm still catching fish. I know when I, uh, do that planer board. Oh, there's, I'm doubled, I'm doubled, I'm doubled, I'm doubled. Oh, that one's still on. I'm doubled up. They're both still here. Is that one still there? I don't know, I can't tell. That one's gonna get in that line over there. Yeah, I think that one's still got a fish too. Yeah, I'm doubled up. Oh, there he is on the surface. <laughs> Another nice little eater brown. Hi. Nice. Alrighty. I'm gonna set down this rock. Now I'm gonna fight. This fish. Yep, he's still there. 
Easy there, bud. <laughs> wow, I'm marking a ton of fish right here. Like an absolute ton. Oh, smokes. This will make my limit right here, I believe, unless this is three and four. I can't remember exactly. This one I'm gonna net just because of this rod. There we go. A couple more. Yep, this is my limit right here. Sweet. All right, well, I'm gonna get these fish dispatched, get them off, and then we're gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna probably throw some, uh, some back, but we're gonna keep, uh, try and catch a bunch of these little, little brown trout. Oh, and he messed up my floor. You might be thinking to yourself, well, I wonder what this guy's catching these fish on, because he's doing a pretty good job of it right now. Um, and I'm gonna tell you, because I like telling people what I'm doing, because honestly, there's so many fish in this lake, really doesn't matter if my spot gets taken or if my lure gets taken, because guess what? I can go out and catch some fish too. But this is the lure that's been doing good for me as of right now. A little thin fin, little thin fish. I can't remember exactly what type this is, but um, it's like a little tiger, orange, yellowy. Uh, so I've really noticed that these browns throughout Lake Michigan love yellow. Chartreuse, yellow, um, definitely a little bit of orange too they like, but we, what I'm also targeting is probably the top 10 feet of the water column. I'm currently in 22 feet, and this is probably getting about down five-ish so feet. And my other lures that I got out are probably getting around the same, same range. Some might be getting a little bit deeper than this, but that's the goal. These fish are up high, they're eating up high, and that's basically it. Um, so these are really, you can find these basically at any bait shop that's around Lake Michigan. Um, but they work phenomenal. I've caught tons of fish on this lure alone and on other colors of the of these thin fish as well. So yeah, there you go. All you need is a trolling rod or even just like a spinning rod. Come out here, just hold it there for an hour, two hours, to be able to catch some fish. Whatever it is, it's this direction. It seems to get them going. Smash Brad's wiggler. Crazy twirls. Crazy twirls. See if we can just get them off right here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the house now. And I got all the fish that I caught laid out, or the fish that I kept at least. And one thing that I noticed with these fish that I kept is that four of them have their adipose fins. But there is one that doesn't have their adipose had a post fan, which is kind of what I expected. But I was looking at all these fish and every single fish didn't have any clipped fins on them. So I don't know if these fish are stocked or if they're actually naturally reproducing browns that run in the lake, which it would be really cool. Um, but if you have any idea, let me know down in the comments. I'm interested, might, someone else might be interested. But I'm gonna show you how I like to clean fish that I catch at Lake Michigan. I learned this uh, technique from the charters I think it's a super quick and effective way to clean fish. But before I do that, I'm gonna go through basically my trolling rod setups. I've done this in the past, but I just wanna reiterate it again. Some of you might not have seen my other videos, so uh, if you made it this far, here's a little tip or whatever, just what I use. So basically, this is not that fancy of a trolling rod, basic everyday trolling rod kind of. Um, this is an ugly stick. It's a 7.6 medium heavy action and it's 10 to 25 pound line. Uh, I have a Daiwa trolling reel on it. I don't like this trolling reel as much as some of my other ones, just because this drag system's a little funky, but this combo has still caught me plenty of big fish. Uh, I also use 20 to 25 pound mono, uh, and I also have a five to six foot fluorocarbon leader, 15 pounds, tied to a snap swivel, and also has a connected to my main line with a barrel swivel. And the reason why I like to use a barrel swivel is because the barrel swivel can roll when, especially when these fish do cartwheels and do crazy things under the water, that barrel swivel will help release the tension off the main line and the leader line. 
And then this is also that thin fish or thin fin that I showed you guys earlier, the one I've been, always been having luck on with browns. Um, go to lure that I'm gonna always have out majority of the time. But if you're like me and how, when I was starting trolling or fishing for browns, I didn't have all these trolling gear. But this is exactly what you can also use. If you wanna troll for fish, you can just have a normal spinning gear, spinning rod with just 15 pound, mono or 15 pound mono to 20 pound braid somewhere wherever it literally doesn't matter and just have the same exact leader size and you can just catch just as many fish i love to do fishing with spinning combos it is i personally think it's a lot more fun just because of you're really feeling that fight with that fish it's you're using a much smaller setup the fish is thrashing everything about is more fun you might get a little more tired but Spinning rod, you can catch just as many fish with this as you can with a trolling rod. But now I'm gonna go into flaying fish out of Lake Michigan. So basically how I start when I flay a brown trout or just any salmon, whatever, any other trout, is I come right behind this front fin here and I just make a nice incision right behind there, just like so. And then the next step I do is I run my blade just right down its stomach there. And I'm trying to get right on this other side of the fin. A lot of this meat here, you will mill some, but it's a lot fatty meat. It's, you know, it's not your really good lean meat. Um, so you're really not missing out on them much. And then my next step I do here is I come right underneath the rib cage and I just slice those ribs and I just go run my blade right along the spine of the fish. And you can kind of see that this is the spine here, and I'm just running my blade right along it, all the way down, down to the tail, just like that. And there you go. Now you have one side of your fillet, of your fish. Now I'll show you how I de-rib these. Basically you just run your blade right underneath, nice and easy. You wanna to try to get as much meat off of these ribs as you possibly can. It does take a little bit to get practice to get used to it and be good at it. I'm not even that good at it. Gotten better though. There you go. So now your ribs are out and I just like to do a nice trim of that excess skin, meat, whatever that you really don't want. And that is how you fillet fish. I like Michigan. That meat's nice and orange. It's really good, healthy meat, perfect to eat. Um, and then basically what I do, wash it off, let it dry, put in some Ziplocs and put it in the freezer. Well, anyways, if you enjoyed this week's video, don't forget to smack that like button and the subscribe button. We just got to 400 subscribers, which is a small milestone, but it is a milestone and I'll take it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to always keep exploring.